Hello YouTube, today I want to show you how to launch shortcuts with MacroDroid um, to expand its functionality. So firstly you'll need MacroDroid, so I'll show you how to get that from the store. So that's here, that's this one, and then you'll need shortcut creator which will be here this one firstly we create a script so we'll open oops right I'm gonna we're gonna open macro droid and we're going to go to macros and we're going to press the plus sign in the bottom corner now if you've seen the other video it talks about how macro drive works but essentially it works based on triggers so that's any of these any of these you can scroll through the list and these are all the triggers um, and they we're gonna go with floating button so search float, floating button just because it's easy to configure and shows you what's um, what it's about um, we'll change it to let's go with a, an orange color and we should be able to see it in a moment. I'm just going to give the macro a name and it's going to be a short cut. I've only put the A there to make it go to the top of the category. And we can set a category and a description. But I'm not going to for this instance. And we're going to press the plus button on the blue here and then I'm going to search but you don't have to um, actually before I do so so these are all the actions that you can do with macro droid the list goes on for ages actually and um, within these there's things like let's have a look so shell script there's root and non root but you can do different things with this so this is compatible with ADB uh, which is Android Debugging Bridge and it's also compatible with Bash Script um, so it does things like MKD which makes directory um, what was the other one? Oh, LS that was it which would list but you would have to do CD to move into a directory but we're digressing there anyway so what we're going to do, we're going to go shortcut, so SHO if we want. It does Android shortcuts which are to do with, depending on the version, um, the power menu. So that would then bring up um, power off, reboot some cases screenshot, some cases some other things depends on the Android version um, but we're going to look at this one, launch shortcut so I'm long pressing these things so the, that's why the dialog box is coming up so what we're going to do is going to just tap it and it's going to bring up all these things here so there's, there's loads of options to to do so these are other installed applications, so that's Launcher, which is an open source launcher. And this is the one we're going to focus on. But I'll talk you through some of these other ones. This is Google Maps. Um, then there's Floating Apps, Folder Sync Pro, that's to back up some other things. That one links, that's Macro Droid links to other macros that are created. That one you can post things to Facebook if you really want, which was 
um, an application called Simple, which is simple for Facebook. Then there's Settings, which um, you can go straight to Application Settings and so on. Let me just show you. So these are the different features that are built in. Other versions of Android that aren't mine, you can see notification log here. And so then you can see the last so many notifications, but it's not compatible with my system. But, um, but yeah, so other phones do that, but you can do all sorts of different things in here. So I could say apps. Configure, go back to configure. And then there's all these as well. But this, the one we're going to focus on at the moment is this one, short, create shortcut, which refers to this application here, which we looked at before. So then we're going to go back to this one and we're going to press OK. And here is we can create shortcuts to things here. So we can, these are the categories. You can create shortcuts for files and folders, applications, settings, which we did just look at briefly, um, command executor, I haven't actually looked at that one, but there's some other things, contacts, yeah, so it's a very good application this one, but what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at applications, So these are the applications that I've got installed, of which are compatible with Shortcut Creator. So I'm going to just open this one as a test. Now here you don't need to worry about too much, but the only important thing to bother about here is the activity. So I've clicked it and then these play buttons take you to it as a test so I can launch that takes me to launch as settings or I can press this one and it so some of them are, are not going to work but that's nothing to do with any fault on any application it's just that Sometimes it's just not allowed to launch, that's all. So that's what to be careful of. But there's... Which one was it? It was... So, like, this one's not going to work. But there are... Most of them do work. Like, see that one? And so then what we can do is... We'll have a look at another app, just as a demo. Midi Clef take as an example. And then I'll just do this. No, okay. I'm going to take a different example. I'll take Macro Drive for example then. So there's different activities here. Um, I'm just finding one that's going to work for us. Template search. So I'm going to press here and then press try and then it will take you to Macro Droids. Oops, I clicked too many times back then. It takes you to Macro Droids store. So if your button, I'm going to set it up but I'll, I'll show you what it means. If you want your button to launch the store when you've pressed it, this is what it's going to look like. So I'm going to press back and again just to go back here. So now I'm going to choose here 
and then it's got template store search so then you can test it again here at the top right corner which we've done and we know it works so I'll press back until I get here and then you press this button so it says to launch it but that's not entirely true I'll show you what happens though so we press to launch it and then what happens is MacroDroid accepts it and it shows you here and then all you can do is go save we need to save it before we do anything cause damage so save is in the bottom corner the little plus button and then here you can see the little pop-up bubble here you can choose where it goes by default when the, the script starts but I just left it as wherever it wanted to pop up so that's where I did that and then when we press that it takes us to the store so you can do any different things so we can do let's go back now the reason I put it as an A before was because it's here so we can change the trigger and it can be anything in here so if there's a call come through for instance and you wanted to we go shortcut and we go launch shortcut and then we go here if you wanted you could launch I don't know say yeah calendar or or something I'm just gonna choose this one doesn't matter which activity actually this one but you can do that so we do that for instance so that takes us here or if you want to take notes so I've clicked floating apps and then you can choose Editor, there we are. Oh, I crushed it, silly me. Yeah, anyway, you can launch like this. So that's so you can do that, but you can do that with any of these applications. But if you don't want a specific activity, MacroDroid itself, if you if you want to launch an app without without Shortcut Creator, you would not do that. I've made a mistake. I clicked it. I tried to drag it out. Um, you would go launch application, and then it generates a list of apps here. So you could do that. So you can do, do. but you've got to get creative, um, and then you'd be able to. You know, I'm only showing you examples here. You can do some really complex things. So, like I've showed you the list of things here, but yeah, there's all sorts in here. But of course, we were just focusing on the shortcut. So hopefully that's given you an idea as to what you can do and how that works. Now, the other thing to note is if you uninstall Shortcut Creator here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open it in the Play Store and then I can in install it easier next time I'm going to uninstall it for the time being and then go back to the macro we've just created and then I'm going to press on it and then press test action it still works the shortcut doesn't get deleted
Now then, so that was the clock changing to 7 o'clock at the time of recording the video. If anyone knows the name of the song, please tell me because I would like to know. Um, I don't know the name of the song, I'd like to know. I know that's a side note. On the other hand, what you can do, configure, um, create shortcut which I've just uninstalled it, haven't I? What you can do is you would go um, Shortcut Creator and then find the Google app and then you can launch Sound Search without installing any other plugins. I'm going to do that. Let's do that, eh? I'll show you what I mean. Google. Nice, I've got to spell it, wouldn't it? Installed, disabled, enable for the time being, and then go back to the macro, configure, um, shortcut creator. Look how fast it was to install, it was fantastic. That applications search, you can search so Google, and then just give it a minute to load. There we go, this top one activity and then it will be sound search I've just got to find it let me just find it um, I think it had a search, sound search icon actually there it is so it might have trouble listening to the sound but I'm just going to try it anyway yeah it won't launch because the videos, the screen's being recorded, but you would configure it that way, and then to launch it, and then test, and it should work. It's not working at the moment. Oh, also, you'll need to run the latest version of Google, which I'm not, so that's perhaps why as well. But it is there, it should work. Um, so that's how to do shortcuts anyway um, hopefully this video has been of use to you thank you very much for watching and uh, take care goodbye